Three people are serving time for the 2018 death of four-year-old Larkin Carr. Larkin's father, Hank Smith Jr., is serving the longest sentence. Yesterday, a judge sentenced Smith's fiance, Catherine Seals, to 18 years. The shortest sentence was given to Seals' teenage son, who beat Larkin to death. Ten on your side's investigative reporter, Chris Horn, looks into the differences in the sentences. And the big difference is between the sentence for Larkin's father, Hank Smith, and the teen who beat the child to death and pleaded guilty. That's upsetting Smith's attorney, but the Commonwealth's attorney says there's good reason. How do you want to say that I was neglectful when my stepson has ultimately admitted to beating him to death? But a Norfolk jury decided that Hank Smith was neglectful in the death of his son, four-year-old Larkin Carr. He and his fiancée, Catherine Seals, had left Larkin in the care of her 14-year-old son, Robert Bolsinger Hartshorn, who later admitted to beating Larkin with a chair and by punching him. Smith and Seals were both convicted of felony homicide. Smith got 21 years in prison, Seals 18. Different judges, but both were outraged that the adults did not seek medical help for Larkin until it was too late. Everyone forgets Larkin's symptoms improved from Friday to Saturday to Saturday to Sunday to Sunday to Monday mm -hmm. until an actual parenting coach was in the home on Monday, the day that he died, and saw him and said he was fine. Commonwealth's attorney Ramin Fadihi says the adult's failure to take Larkin to the hospital when he was vomiting and had diarrhea was depraved indifference and made them just as responsible as if they had left a loaded gun around the house. But Smith's attorney says her client got the heaviest sentence, even though the teenager was the direct cause of Larkin's death. The, the system allows for Robbie to have a juvenile sentence until he's 21, and then an additional adult sentence. It's called a serious offender. And so the Commonwealth didn't go that way. Fadahi told me Friday, what gets lost in this case is that Bolsinger Hartshorn was just 14, which is a million miles away developmentally from someone who's 18. Paulding says she will appeal the conviction for Hank Smith, but a date has not been set. And finally, he says even if the teen had been sentenced as a serious offender that Paulding suggested, he would be up for review in two years. And at that point, a judge could have determined that he was doing well enough to be released. Had that happened, he would have actually done less time than what he got as part of the plea agreement, detention until age 21. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.